The bar I worked at while I was in college was known to be haunted. I heard stories from the time I was old enough to have memories. I lived in a small town, so everyone had their own stories, including my dad when he worked there while he was in college as well. I'll start by telling you some of my dad's experiences. Back then, the bar was called Puzzled. When he was hired, he knew very little about the alleged hauntings, other than there was supposedly a rather angry spirit who enjoyed breaking bottles and throwing things about, and one spirit who just enjoyed playing pranks and could often be heard. The first time he ever experienced something paranormal happened the first night at, that he was bartending alone. When he was cleaning the bar, he heard a crash, looked up, and sure enough, there was a bottle of vodka shattered on the floor about ten feet in front of the bar. Hey, what the heck, he said. Heading downstairs to grab the broom and mop, he turned on the water, poured some solution in the bucket, and placed the hose down in there. But as he was standing there, the hose seemingly lifted on its own and pointed straight at his face. He heard laughing. Another night, he was closing early because there had been no one in the bar for over an hour. He locked the door and proceeded to start closing his till. The jukebox started blaring out of nowhere, making him jump and plug his ears. He said it was so loud, the bottles on the bar were rattling, and one even slid far enough forward to fall and shatter. His most frightening experience happened on Christmas Eve, the second year he worked there. It was busier than expected, full of those who didn't have anywhere to be for the holiday, and those escaping their in-laws. He was in the tiny kitchen, cooking one of the customers a frozen bar pizza to sober him up a bit, when the drawers and cabinets all opened at once, making so much noise, it startled him, and he dropped the pizza pan in his hand. Thankfully, there was no pizza on the pan yet, so no mess to clean up. Later, when everyone was gone, he was cleaning up from a very busy night. Suddenly, all the lights went out, and he was left standing in pitch black. Then, as he was just about to try to find his way to the supply closet for a flashlight, bottles went flying. Not just one, multiple, all smashing against the wall behind him. Being so dark, he couldn't exactly see what area was being targeted, but it was close to him, so he didn't dare move until it was over. He later found out why the activity amped up on Christmas Eve. Rumor has it that many years prior, one of the regulars at the bar named Roy left after having a few too many on Christmas Eve. He wrapped his car around a tree. It's said that he was always a mean old man, but people believe since he passed away, his spirit has gotten meaner. When I worked there, just a few years ago, I had many encounters with Roy, and with Anna, the playful spirit. My second or third shift alone, I was walking down the stairs to the basement, and someone, or something, should I say, tapped me on the shoulder, and I almost went tumbling down the rest of the stairs out of fright. Once I regained my balance, I heard a female giggling. Who followed me down here? You can't be down here. Go back upstairs, I said. But no one answered. Still shaken up, I headed back up the stairs, and as I turned around to shut the door to the basement, it slammed. And through the loud music coming from the bar, I heard the giggling again. Later, I had finally gotten the last customer out the door and was starting to clean up. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw my phone moving back and forth on the bar top. I literally rubbed my eyes and shook my head. I thought I was losing it. But there it was, still sliding back and forth. And then, the giggle. It was definitely a young female giggling. At least I meet the ghost with a sense of humor, I said out loud, and the giggling got louder. I didn't know at the time, but just a few weeks later, I would meet Roy, and it wouldn't be the friendliest first meeting. It was a Saturday night, so the bar was busy all night. I barely had time to take a few sips of water every once in a while. It was one of those nights that was going to take hours after closing to actually get home. After the last person had left, 
I locked the door and went to close out the till. I was counting the ones when I heard something clatter to the ground in the kitchen. Oh great, just what I need tonight, I thought out loud. I was frustrated to find at least two dozen glasses that were ready for the dishwasher, scattered all over the floor. Most of them were at least semi-broken. Cool, I'll never get home at this rate, I said, sighing, as I headed downstairs for the broom and dustpan. Right at that moment, I swear I heard a malicious laugh. I had to be imagining that. It took about a half an hour to get all the glass cleaned up and get the floor clean to make sure there weren't any loose shards. When I got back out to the bar and started putting the stools up, the ones I had just put up were shoved to the ground angrily. Okay, old man, I get it. You're angry, and you must be Roy, I said out loud. In response, two tequila bottles were thrown from their spots on the bar. Maybe I shouldn't have called you old, I'm sorry, I said out loud. I couldn't believe I was standing here, in a bar, at 3 a.m., talking to a ghost. I finally got out of there that night, and although that was perhaps the scariest night of my life, I continued working there. I learned that if you left Roy a drink on the counter sometime during your shift, he wouldn't be violent. Usually, that is. Wow, I'd love to visit this place. We have a bar in our area that has a spirit who's known to throw bottles. My mom worked next to it, and you could randomly hear bottles breaking at weird hours. Thank you so much for your submission. If you have a paranormal story to share for an upcoming video, email it to the address in the description below. If you haven't, please like this video and subscribe. We're currently one subscriber away from our first 100 as I'm filming this, and I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow, friends.